Look, the Democratic Labour Party, as with any political party, um, there are always uh, factions or there are different groups within a party. That is normal. Every party is a broad church. You have uh, different interests. That does not mean the party is not united. And I, and I, and I think that kind of talk is loose talk. Um, it can equally be applied to the Barbados Labour Party. It doesn't mean equal rumblings on the other side. Uh, the, the reality is we're in an election campaign. The party is behind its leader. And we're just on the ground trying to reach the constituents. And I, and I really don't think we should be engaged in that kind of conversation because that is not about the needs of Barbadians. Really people are suffering, uh, cost of living is high, uh, the, the inability of government to address that during COVID, the inability of government to provide jobs, the inability of government to start and finish projects and that's really been the hallmark of this government. Nothing and all, all the projects announced have not been started. You can't blame COVID, there's only so much blame you can assign to COVID, there's only so much blame you can assign to the previous government government. At some point, you have to man up, woman up, and take responsibility to recognize you are now the government and do your job. And if you're incapable of doing your job, step out of the way and let someone else do the job. So really talk of leadership uh, rumblings on either side. Let me just say that. Either side, that's loose talk. And really, we should be concerned with what Barbadians are concerned is with, and that's the issues that they're facing on a daily basis. I think, uh, you know, I'm, I, as I tell my team, we're, we're enjoying our campaign. Um, we are um, enjoying the campaign. It's going great. I think the response has been very positive. I, I couldn't ask for a warmer and a better reception from the people of St. James South. Uh, they've taken me into their homes, their hearts, and I similarly have taken them into my home and into my heart. And I am really looking forward to being their representative. And uh, I'm not only representing the people of St. James South, but being uh, a, a voice for change. Um, you know, part of this is listening to the people and trying to reflect what they're saying uh, in your policy, in the projects that you're trying to do, in the programs. You know, it's easy for politicians and for persons to come here and say, you know, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z, and you've got your laundry list of things. But really, what does that mean to the persons? That, that, they may not want the X, Y, and Z. They may want A or B or C. So you need to be able to take what they're telling you and adjust it and frame your policy to suit the needs of the people and that's what canvassing is about canvassing is not just about uh, asking for the vote yes that's an important component you have to do that but really it's about trying to understand where your community is at even the people who will tell you straight up i'm not voting for you and when they tell me that i'm like that's fine that's your choice but at the end of the day when i represent this community and this constituency i still have to represent you so i still want to know what are your concerns? And I think that shocks people, you know, because the, the expectations that I'm going to walk away. No, I'm not walking away. At the end of the day, you're a resident of Barbados. If the road is paved, you're going to drive on it. B, D, C, N, D, P. That's it. If the school is working well, your kids are going to go to the school. If the clinic in the area, are, you know, is working well, that's good for you. If the community centre is fixed up, that's brilliant for you. If there are jobs, that's for you. It doesn't matter which party uh, you belong to. At the end of the day, I am vying to be the representative of the people of St. James South. Yes, I am a representative of the Democratic Labour Party and I'm proud of the traditions of that party, traditions of Albaro and what he has built. But when I step into Parliament, I represent all the people here. That, that's as simple as it is. <laughs>